Good job. Wanna come up here? Good job. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Please rise. Bashful. Do you want Dad to stand up here for a yeah. moment? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you might be seated. Please be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and His Church which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee. And holy scripture commends it to be honorable among all, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. You're doing fine. Now I require and charge you both as you will answer the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment, while you may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For be assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise than as God's word allows, their marriage is not lawful. We're doing okay. It's okay to cry. of each of you in just a moment, if you will, respond with thy will. Okay, and away we go. Gentlemen first. Bracken, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Amanda, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Very well. Now, if you would please, let's hand your bouquet off, and if you will hold that, thank you very much. And you offer up your hands to the lady. Just oh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a part to that, but it's okay. You can be nervous. <laughs> I'll shake your hand afterwards. But anyway, <laughs> now, now Bracken, I'll start with you. I ask you to please repeat after me. I Bracken. I Bracken. Take you, Amanda. Take you, Amanda. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. You're doing fine. Just follow my lead, okay? Amanda, please repeat after me. I, Amanda. I, Amanda. Take you, Bracken. Take you, Bracken. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And according to God's holy ordinance. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. And if I may have the rings, please. Would you help me and take those? Okay. Yeah, I'll need. Go ahead and pull, pull that in so I can have the rings. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 
Bless, O Lord, these rings. May those who wear them abide in your peace and continue in your favor unto their life's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Rackin, if you will take Amanda's ring and take her left hand, please, and repeat after me. Amanda. Amanda. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a, as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. Getting better at that. Repeat after me. Bracken. Bracken. Oh, put it on his left hand. Oh. Okay. Bracken, I give you this ring. Bracken, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. As we come before God in this company on this most glorious day to unite Bracken and Amanda, they have chosen to symbolize this union with the unity candles. Now, I'm going to ask them to step up at this time, and if you'll take these and light these from the... <clears throat> before Bracken and Amanda are three candles. Go ahead and light those. The lit candles symbolize your lives prior to this day. The center candle represents a future journey in life together. Lest we forget, this union also symbolizes the uniting of your families. You will go ahead and light that. <clears throat> it is through the love and grace of God your paths have come together. As Bracken and Amanda have lit the center candle. It shows how their lives and their families, once separate, have now become forever intertwined as one. And if you will go ahead and step down. No, no, it's not ready. It's okay. okay. At this time, I would ask everyone to please join us in reciting the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, who has so consecrated the state of matrimony that in it is represented the spiritual marriage and unity between Christ and his church, look mercifully upon these, your servants, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and of peace through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Bracken and Amanda have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their troth, each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring, and by joining hands, I pronounce that they are man and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bracken. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get your bouquet. You hand that to him. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Hold on just one second. It is indeed my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Baker. Okay. <laughs> Would you all come on 
over here. If you'll walk out together right there, just right, stand next to each other, and you can walk out together, okay? We won't try the 